is a warning to all living mortals that whosoever opens this... Hello, I'm R.L. Stein. I write the Goosebumps books. In a few minutes, you're going to see one of my favorite stories come alive. The Haunted Mask is a frightening Halloween story about a girl named Carly Beth. The horror begins when Carly Beth puts on the evil haunted mask, and it ends when she discovers there is nothing more powerful than the love of her family and friends. What's so scary about that? You'll see. Viewers beware. You're in for a scare. I'm R.L. Stein. I write the Goosebumps books. In a few minutes, you're going to see one of my favorite stories come alive. The Haunted Mask is a frightening Halloween story about a girl named Carly Beth. The horror begins when Carly Beth puts on the evil haunted mask, and it ends when she discovers... Thank you, R.L. Stein. R.L. Stein, Freddy's and Skeletons. Booze and ghouls. Extreme 13 Ghosts of Ghulam. The monks continuing this absurdly long journey <clears throat> of three hours so far. We had better be at the goddamn end of this. Oh, uh, also. Oh, but, uh, do we not have the key? I thought we had the key. I thought we already did this too. So last time we played this, the game straight up crashed. Um. When we were in there trying to push shit into the uh, into the formula, and also I'm not gonna lie, I looked it up because that, that one making no damn sense to me. Okay, please <laughs> move. Um, I gotta time this shit apparently, so let's go ahead and do it again. Let's grab our little tweezies, take them. Um, all right, very good. Yep. Now, I know I'm making a lot of moves that seem like I looked ahead, but I swear to you, I was looking up for these pictures and it said to do the sync, but it's like 60 seconds in each one. I did the order, right? At the end. Maybe you should get some information first. Maybe you should shut the F up. <laughs> okay. So this goes in, I'm gonna look at the Twitch timer. Look at my watch time. Or not my watch time, my go. Very good. Let me get those tongs ready. Use the tongs. And now we wait about uh, another 45 seconds, it seems. We gotta be close to the end of this game, right? Uh, where'd the fape go? Okay, we found it. It's just in my fat rolls. This is only 30 seconds. This is what the game wants you to do. This is the game. I think it's 60 seconds for each one. I should probably double check that. Should probably just give that a double check. Now, does it have to be exactly 60 seconds? Like 61 seconds or 59 seconds won't work. Exactly 60 seconds. Very good. Now what? Uh, we just moving right along. Do, 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 do. Okay. We will count this uh, at 20 seconds after the minute. So now. Nice. All right. Let's get this ready once again. Do I have to? wash off the tongs you think you think that's going to affect it in any way oh sorry you left a little bit of juice on the tongs and it ruined everything go fuck yourself uh 20 seconds after i gotta remember that 20 seconds after 
I should have saved this game for my peasies and cheesies, because holy shit, I have all the time in the world to snack, and now I've snacked out. Snacked out of my mind, dude. 20 more seconds. And we can be done with this second tub. This really is a three minute segment, huh? Maybe we need to get some music for the next one. What's like a... What's a good song for developing pictures? You finish the photo and lift it out of the stopper. Now what? Um, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, let me get a song ready. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Fifty. Forty-nine seconds, technically. Oh, get my tongs ready. Get my tongs ready. Okay. I think it was forty-nine seconds. Uh... Maybe we'll wait till 50 seconds. No, 49. We'll do 49. We gotta do 49. I hope it's not too late. Uh. You realize you have a legitimate photograph. Now what? Oh, we're still not done with this process. Expose it to the light? Well then... Do I put it in the water then? Oh, thank god it didn't make me wait that five minutes. It already made me wait three. So I wonder if we can like wait. Oh, well, let's get out of here then. Let's get out of here then. Um, we'll save because I bet you we can come back. in your house, yes, portraits, look, look, strange portraits hang on the wall, they're not of anybody recognized, good. Fuck, you can't see this shit, dude. You'll definitely keep this in mind for our class. No. Okay, portraits, then maybe the tongs? Oh, nope. Can 
I used the tongs on the floor. Playing the tongs together in the air. Clap, clap, clap. Um. This kid wants the music. And we already tried giving it to him, right? We did that? That's not funny. You made him sad. Um. Um. Our battery's almost dead. We haven't used it. Um. Tear the portraits off the wall, maybe? There's nothing upstairs. Well, I guess let's see if it's still like instant death in this room. Because uh, that was a big problem last time. Let's go inside. Okay, it definitely is already sunk in. We, used, we didn't use the screwdriver, did we? We must have. We must have. Well, let's put this down first. Okay, good. I guess we, ju we just can't do that. We just can't fucking... How the fuck are we supposed to do that? I feel like that's gotta be a bug or something. There's no way. We didn't even knock the pipe loose. There's zero chance. Can we use the stepladder here? Like go up this hole? Go up this hole? No. You wind up and fling the stepladder upward into the chute. Ladders around before falling back down. You miss the catch and drop it. Luckily it's not broken or anything. You pick it back up. So is that enough time then for the picture, or...? It's a dark room... No! No! Looking up a walkthrough. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Goosebumps. This is hor this is a dangerous precedent we're setting right here, right now. Goosebumps. The game. Walkthrough. <laughs> oh my god. Who would have thought it'd be Goosebumps the game? Where we fucking commit to a walkthrough. Where are we? Part one. Grab the roses, but. We didn't grab any roses. Were we supposed to have roses? Holy shit, I'm already seeing stuff we didn't do. I'm already seeing stuff we didn't do. We don't have a shrunken head either. Oh, fuck. What the fuck, dude? Um, okay. Well, I guess... No. I guess we need to go back to the crashed fucking truck, dude. That's really whack. That is... <gasps> Wait a second. Um... Never mind. We gotta go fucking back. Through the fucking slop. Through the tunnel. Back out. Move. Very good. We'll go up. Uh, we gotta grab the roses. Wow! Pick. You kneel down and carefully pick a blue rose. Ouch! There are some sharp thorns. We got a blue rose. Very good. 
Mmm. Cherry soda? That's like my vape. Undisturbed from earlier. Take the shrunken egg. It's cold and slimy and drop it in your bag. We already got the books and the... And the... The hat. Wait a second. Put a portrait frame on a portrait. Frame picture. Okay, good. That's all we need. Alright, so we got that. Storm tunnel, thank you. Neighborhood, thank you. Backyard, thank you. We get that. House foyer. Save your game and quit telling you that you save this plus me. Go children, go here in the foyer. Select a letter. Use a child on the left. Grab photo paper from the floor. Behind the bed. Go to the basement. We've been in the basement. Alright, let me get back to the house. Um, search the toolbox. We did that. Grab a screwdriver. Hanger. Step ladder. Foyer. House dining room. Grab the placemat. Grab the candle from the table. Grab the deco plate from the wall behind the back. We got two thirds of that. So that's pretty good. Open the drawer on the right and grab the talisman. Uh, we did that. Open the pantry and grab the purple, purple stuff, jelly jam, coat hanger, uh, study key. We did all that. We did all that. Um, cabinet, screwdriver, house. So we go to the. Oh, that would have been nice to have that. Holy shit! It would have repeatedly pressed back times 10 to escape the crawl space and return to the kitchen. Would have been good to know that. I thought, like, look, we, we look at this, right? The way to get to that slime even is going forward, 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 right, forward, right, forward, forward, forward. So in my mind, I thought I was going to go backward, 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 left, backward, left, backward, backward, backward. That didn't work. It's literally fucking just backwards 10 times. Stupid ass shit. Uh, kitchen, dining room, house. Grab the remote control, grab the film, we get that. Book, examine the clock, use the screwdriver. Oh. What the fuck, dude? Well, no, I committed to a wa- I committed to the walkthrough. Should've known if there was stuff I missed. I was supposed to do something with this, alright. Book, 1988. Oh, examine. Use on 88. Nope. God damn it. Use on 88. Nice. Pops off. Uh, you wedge your screwdriver under the 1988 tab and push. It pops off immediately and clatters to the floor. Uh. Uh. Oh, is that Ghost Girl? Is that what that did? Is Ghost Girl uh, sent back in time by her brother? A shriek echoes through the house. Sounds like it came from the entryway. It rings in your ears before abruptly stopping, as if it never happened at all. It has to be Ghost Girl, right? It has to be Ghost Girl. Step back into the dining room. Uh, grab the candle. Take the candle. We got the candle. Good. Is that Ghost Girl? It is Ghost Girl! Just one ghost remains, haunting the entryway. It, it was Ghost Girl. So she got cuckoo clock of doom into the past. Okay. House, laundry room. Grab the dryer sheets, detergent, open the closet, uh, bathroom key. Very good. Developing photo, for fuck's sake. Here we go. Drop the photo paper in the far left tub for 50 seconds. Oh, it's only 50 seconds. That would do in a minute. Tongs. Grab it out. Tongs. Leave it in the tub for 60 seconds. Oh, it is 60. 60 seconds on the last two. Probably 60 seconds on them all. Into the sink. Select wet photo. Clothesline. Select the uh, weight. Grab the wet photo. Okay. So literally, we could have grabbed the wet photo after. I thought it because we were smelling chemicals, it was going to kill us. <laughs> you know, like some chemical gas or something. Okay, so let's redo this then. I use pick up the photo. Uh... Out. 
So how are you doing today? Doing alright? Keeping well? Could probably use a little water, eh? We run out of time because of this tomfoolery. Oh, still like 15 seconds. <laughs> oh, this is so long. This is very obtuse. better be fucking worth it. Let's look at it. It's a picture of someone's head. Okay. Oh, what if we... I'm not looking at the walkthrough anymore uh, until I need to. What if we put this head above that body on the stairs, right? With the one that's got no head, it's just the, the man? How about that? How about that for an idea? Look, that for an idea, huh? Do we like that? Oh, look, he's... Do we like it? Oh, come on. What the fuck? Use. Portrait 2. You admire your hard work. Photo development always seems so complicated, but this wasn't so hard. That's... What do you mean? Maybe I put the portrait up? Above it? Blank space. You hold it up. Oh, for fuck's sake. So there is a blank space. So let's use it on the blank space then. You admire your hard work. You 
you slide the photograph into the frame, a perfect fit. Now you have a frame picture. Here we go, right? Cautiously set the portrait onto a hook in the wall. It takes a moment to convince yourself it's hanging straight. It's Saul Goodman. So, look, at least it fits in with the others. You guess that's something. Oh. Tap on the photo and it swings open, revealing a compartment hidden in the wall. Another chess piece. You snag the knight just in case it's useful. Er, later. I almost said earlier. <clears throat> okay, so now we have three chess pieces. Uh, I don't recall seeing a chess board anywhere. I've got a rose. Is there a vase we can maybe use that on? Chess queen, shrunk head. Look, it's what you always imagined a shrunk head would look like. Ball of skin, eyes, and a mouth sewn shut. Feel overwhelmed by a strange energy looking at it. Oh, do we have, like, empty ghost energy? Can we go in one of these doors? You stand in the upstairs hallway, which seems relatively untouched. Your room, open. Cross your fingers and push the door open. Oh, save. Well, let's go ahead and go in there, then. You seek solace in your bedroom. As you set foot in your bedroom, a wave of relief washes away your apprehension. It's unchanged, except for one conspicuous addition. Chessboard. Okay. Little bed, look sleep. What is this? Nightstand. Look. You don't use your nightstand too much. It's just one of those pieces of furniture that sticks around. Open it up. Slide the nightstand drawer open. Uh, games. Look. Oh, that's right. You stash some of your favorite video games in here. When David came over, he obviously didn't find them. Phew. Oh, David's one of them, huh? He's one of them Jarvie types. Oh, can I play your Pokemon Sapphire? Hey, yeah, be careful. I have like 350 hours in that, man. What do you mean? I don't have your, I don't have your Pokemon Sapphire. Take the games. You decide you better hold on to these games. Oh, can I play them on uh, Dad's computer, maybe? Oh, look at this. We can play the cassette in here. No? We don't need to go... Uh, Dresser look, open. The dresser stands in the corner, collecting dust. Open that sound you Pull a drawer slightly, resulting in an ear-shattering wood-on-wood squeal. No, never again. That noise is the main reason your clothes are all over the floor. If only Mom understood. Alright, well here's the thing, man. I'm gonna use this. We can't. That's the obvious. Uh, look at the posters. Mom got so mad when you hung all these posters up. But what's she know? You'll love these bands forever. Toys look. You keep your favorite childhood toys on this shelf. Your taste's always been a little creepy. More posters. Mom got so mad. Clothes. Look. Some of your clothes are strewn about. Are these clean or dirty? Smell. Take a tentative whiff. Definitely dirty. But not so much you couldn't wear them again. Well then let's take them. You ball the clothes up. We can use that. Well, we already put the shit in the washing machine. We can finally wash something. You, didn't you pick up the clothes and shove them in your backpack. Bed, look. Your bed always feels so comfy and safe. Part of you wants to curl up and hide until this all blows over. Hmm. Let's do that then. Sleep. You collapse onto your bed and shut your eyes. In mere moments, you drift off. You shoot up in bed with a start. You're more rested, but doubt you slept as long as it feels. Maybe that reset the, uh, the crush, the crush room? Maybe? I don't know if... Uh, there's gotta be more chess. You hunch over the board and sink deep into thought. Uh, king, look. Interesting setup. You think you could probably put the king in check. Use... Horses can go... Do horses do L's? Towers move like long lines. That horses are L's, right? So the horse should be here. Place the knight on the board. I think horse do L. Uh, well, maybe he would knock that pawn out if we did that. No? Oh yeah, 
rook can go long distance. So look at the rook. Use rook goes here. Maybe. And the queen in the back where it's safe, or is that a fucking checkmate? Place the queen on the board. Nothing happened, you must have placed one of the pieces wrong. Take the queen. Take the rook. Take the knight. So maybe... The knight goes here, knocks out that pawn. Place the knight on the board. Rook goes... Here. And then queen in the back? in the bag. You place the queen on the board. Nothing happens. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Take. Nope. Take. So maybe it's... Well, how would the rook even get to that spot down there? It doesn't make sense that the rook would be up here, so... I think we just had those two mixed up. Place the queen on the board. Nothing happened. Hmm. So let's do queen here. Oh, knight. We're keeping the knight here. And then rook up here. I don't know how the rook got up here, but okay. Place the rook on the board. With the final piece in place, you hear a small click as the lower compartment slides open. Okay. Here we go, music player. Look, it's one of those ancient cassette tape players, you think. Even Chad never had one of these growing up. Take it. Take the cassette player from its compartment. Oh, sick. We're fucking chess pros, dude. Let me save it. Alright, bathroom. Oh. Let's open that up. You crack the bathroom door slightly. Let's go in there. Take a dump ski. You're in the bathroom. It smells a little musty in here. It looks... Very nice. Look, you consider a nice hot shower to calm down, but decide to wait until later. Mirror, look, you take a good look at yourself in the mirror. Fixing a few uncooperative hairs, at least you don't see any pimples. Um, hmm. You've got a shrunken head, a rose, a candle. Uh, placemat? Uh, dish? We wash the dishes. Something inside you wants nothing more than to fling the plates as hard as you can. You fight the urge. Somehow you fight the urge. Sink. Look. Your average everyday bathroom sink. This one's always drained pretty slow. It's probably clogged. Use. You turn the faucet and hot water begins pouring out. Okay. Turn. Turn on the water, feeling it with your hand until it's nice and hot. Then you switch it to shower and let it spray harmlessly in the tub. 108, 19, 43. Here, look. The mirror's completely clogged up, except for this one spot. Looks like somebody wrote a message with their finger. It says 108, 19, 43. 108, 19, 43. Smiley face. The mirror's completely clogged up. What if you use this sponge and wipe the mirror? You squeeze the sponge. Okay, good. Good. Jelly jam. Is that it in here? Floor, rugs, bedroom, rug, floor, rug, guest room, faucet, mirror, bedroom, mirror, shower. Okay, look at the rugs. Bathroom have r bathrooms have rugs so you don't slip when you leave the shower. Open the cover. Bathroom cover opens easily and without resistance. Piste resistance? What is this? 
shoot. Look. Jump. Save. 108, 1943. Have we found anything that's locked? 108, 1943. I don't, I don't think so. Eh, you're not going to risk that. Not today. What do you mean? There's a pile of blankets down there. Uh, pretty close. Open. You open the door to the next room, which you hope is the guest room. Let's take a look. You slip out the door on the right. Holy shit. Mom would flip if she saw the guest room like this. It looks like a toy store exploded. Alright, uh, toys, look. It's an enormous stack of toys. Doll stuffed animals. Maybe even, before you can finish your thought, a robot emerges from the pile. He towers towards you, totters towards you before pointing his laser blaster right between your eyes. You remember the toy from somewhere. An Annihilator 3000, you think. It doesn't seem like he's playing. Fight off the fucking toy dinosaur, my guy. Use. You won't be intimidated by a toy. You chuck the toy dino directly at its head, but it bounces off. The Annihilator takes its turn next, shooting a deadly laser beam in your direction. It doesn't bounce off. Fortunately, you only notice it for a split second. Hmm. Let's retry that. Okay, bathroom full of steam. Uh. Squeeze sponge. You win this time, sponge. So, do we have, like. Shrunken head. Screwdriver, the game, the cassette, the clothes. Huh. What could we do? So let's let's fucking go wash the clothes first. I gotta I gotta think about this. What can we? I should have just used the portal, huh? Fuck, what was I thinking? Um, we got a toy coming our way. Let me open this. Open up. Use the clothes into the washer. Since you're home, there's no reason not to tackle some clothes. You drop a load of dirty clothes into the wash. Clothes. You. Pleased with your diligence, you start the laundry. Your mom would be proud. The machine starts spinning its first cycle. It'll be a while before the wash is done. Okay, you decide to retire to the den. We got a trophy for that. Um, we have this place map. Alright, let's, let's go up there. 108, 19. Let's go to the study. Ah! Yes! Use! You open your favorite search page and think of subjects to enter. Select response. Photo, no. Music, no. Dogs. Dogs. Chess. Dogs. You type dogs and hit enter, shivering at the thought of today's earlier incident. After scrolling through the results, you choose a promising looking information hub. You're, pres you're presented with three options. Breeds, social, feeding, back. Uh, social? Socially, dogs operate in a pack structure. At the top of the pack is the alpha, the strongest dog in the crew. Alphas are established after a show of power or ability. When faced with proof of an alpha's strength, Weaker animals have no choice but to submit. This is a common behavior in most pack animals, certainly all dogs and similar species. Breeds. The breed listing is comprehensive. After a brief perusal, you self-consciously select Poodle. The images look vaguely similar to the canine you met earlier, but none have quite the same insane gleam in their eyes. Appropriately, there is also plenty of useful information about the breed. Temperament, intelligence, famous poodles in history. 
and everything else anyone could possibly ever want to know about poodles. Nothing about insatiable bloodlust. You're question, you question Fifi's pedigree. Social feeding. Tired of supermarket foods filling your beloved pet with chemicals and byproduct meal? With Yum Pet's new veterinarian-recommended scientific well-development formula, those days are over. Well-development, my bad. We start with the oil. We start with whole proteins. Nature's healthiest and most delicious protein. Oh, hold on. We're doing an ad right now. We're doing an ad right now. Hashtag ad. <laughs> hashtag not an ad. Hashtag not sponsored. Um, Royalty free commercial. Oh, no. Commercial is a bad keyword to have in there. Royalty free infomercial. Infomercial music. Here we go. Infomercial, royalty free, I hope that's true. We start with whole proteins, nature's healthiest and most delicious proteins. We add in wholesome fruits and vegetables, proving to benefit your pet's coat, energy level, and ear health. And that's it! No chemicals, no wheat or soy gluten by gluten, gluten bribe front. You wouldn't feed your child junk food, so why do it to your pet? New well development formula, only from Pet Yum. Okay. So that's all the dog information you can take for one time being. You delete the URL and prepare to enter something new. Music. You type music and hit enter. The first result is your favorite digital music marketplace. You click this you click on the search bar. Search. For several empty moments you stare at the search bar. No specific songs or artists are coming to mind. It must be the weirdness of the day. It happens, it's literally everything. Todd, zombie? Holy shit. Eat worms by fucking Todd, zombie guys? Hold on. Uh, greatest hits. What do these all say? Deep Trouble by to tro Todd, zombie. These are all Todd, zombie. Okay, my bad. Zombie dance off. Eat Worms, that's a book, and Vampire Breath. Oh, these are all, oh, no, these are top, oh, shit. This is like when Rob Zombie was in Twisted Metal 4 as himself, but this isn't that. It's Todd Zombie, and he represents R.L. Stein. second I have to slow this one down more than normal normal Ugh. you decide it's time to investigate more useful pages than your one-stop downloadable music shop what's your next search term Photo. You type photography and hit enter. You select the third result and find yourself at an enthusiast how-to site. This site has two main sections. Supplies. Developing your own photography can be intimidating because of all of the necessary supplies. But don't worry. Our, our tutorial will detail each thing you need, so use it as a handy checklist. First are the chemicals. Deve uh, we, don't, we don't care. We do not care. Do not care. We are done. All done. Bye bye. We already did that. Chess. Hmm. Hmm. Uh oh, guys, the mouse battery is very low. We gotta plug the mouse in now. I gotta plug the mouse in. Okay, so, still didn't help me. Oh, wait, what if we, the cassette slots into the player perfectly. Wait, no, it won't shut. You turn them both over in your hand, searching for the one detail you missed. Aha, you try flipping the tape over. Yep, it was upside down, fits perfectly now. Well, let's listen to this. Use. Okay, nope. You hit play, but nothing happens. You must be missing something. 
So let's give this to homeboy down here. And maybe he'll give us something like a, a laser gun or something that can destroy this. Use the music player. Hey kid, unfortunately, that's not funny. You made him sad. My favorite song, he says. I want to listen to it, please. Look, people used to listen to music on these things. Hey, buddy. That's not funny. You made him sad. What the fuck? What if I put it on the shrunken head? I hit play, but nothing happens. You must be missing. Ah, I really thought that was gonna... Video games in the in the living room. Video games in the living room, guys. Video games in the living room. Use the video games. Uh, game console. You aren't going to screw around with your vintage games. If the connection if connectors bend, you have to do an entire breathing ritual to make them play correctly. Turn on the television. Well, the TV still won't turn on. That thing with the creepy dummy must have been a fluke. He said something about the Town Center Gallery of Mall and about a special guest. What the fuck? There's nothing in the basement. We'll stay out of the basement! Let's go back over here for now. I'm still pretty sure that door is gonna crush us in an instant. I'm gonna save again because I'm paranoid. Open. Creak. The door creaks open. You glance inside, but you don't see anybody. Was it ever really locked? Move. In the in the guest room. Mom would flip if she saw it like this. Well, in oh, look at this fucking creepy thing. Let me take a look around. Let me use my head to look around. Furnishings. Bathroom furnishings. Toys. Bathroom furnishings. Toys, toys, bed, dresser, hallway, hallway, toys. What the fuck? I have to be able to play this with something, right? What if we... Okay, what if we put the toy dino... On the toys. Rar, the toy makes cool sounds when you shake it. What is flashing in the center right here? Huh. Closet. Open. You open the closet door, but it's not what you expected. Oh, shit. You hold your breath. Hop on through to the other side. Okay. Let's take a, let's take a, a breather here. Um, hmm. Let's go back in there. And we'll put the toy truck uh, with the toys. You roll the toy truck along the ground and make motor noises. Okay. Hmm. Furnishings. Look, Mom must have redecorated recently. This style is supremely questionable. Uh, uh, dresser open. You pull open the drawer. More film. Uh, dresser look. Toys look. It's an enormous stack of it. Maybe even, yep, before you finish your thought, a robot emerges. He sounds like he's about to go You would not believe your eyes Okay If one big uh, robot guy Looked at you then shot you in the face You remember the toy from somewhere, and a lot, and an eye later, three thousand. You think it doesn't seem like he's playing. Can we leave? Oh, we can. Will he follow us? Maybe. You attempt to leave, but as soon as you move, the robot sounds a very angry-sounding warning. Um. The remote, 
maybe? The remote. Use the TV remote on toy robot. You won't be intimidated by a toy, you check the TV. Okay, no. Hey, you killed him. He fucking killed us again. Retry. Stand at the foot of the Very good. Alright, here we are. Open. Take. Annihilator 3000. So many horses. Video game? No. Throwing something at him, I guess. I guess maybe we can go to the laundry instead. Oh fuck, this is the basement. Anything in here? No, we got everything in here, I think. So we need to go this way. Drift away. Look, it's still nowhere close to being finished. You should go do something else while you wait. Step away from your room, into the guest room. And none of these toys are like unique in that I can look sleep. If you were gonna catch a nap, you do it in your own room. Hmm. Maybe if we throw the load at the road, before you can finish your thought, you remember the toy from somewhere. Annihilator 3000. You think? Doesn't look like he's playing. So the, the shoe or the step ladder or the encyclopedia? Look, the very thick book. Must be ancient. There's a whirring coming from the robot toy. Use. You won't be intimidated, but yeah, the Annihilator takes its turn. Okay. Okay. Um, maybe if we don't do anything, like if we just fucking look at the shoe, you're not really sure what's going on. A series of clicks. Look, you're not really sure. The robot beeps a warning. Look, you're not really sure. The Annihilator toy emits a series of clicks. Look at the coupons. You found this coupon mailer in the box. There's a whirring sound coming from the robot toy. Book, look. Very thick book. There's a whirring. Look, it's a lost Oclire. The Annihilator toy emits a series of clicks. Look, one straight note. The note reads, hey, you found my note. Sometimes people notice hope. Um, games? Look at the games. Some old video games you've been holding. Series of clicks. Music player. Beeps a warning. Series of clicks. Whirring sound. Series of clicks. Whirring sound. Seems to be no rhyme or reason. Maybe the dish soap? Or like... We jam them up or something maybe? You empty the entire bottle of dish soap at the Annihilator's feet. It attempts to walk towards you but the soup proves, the soap proves too much. It swings its arms and legs rapidly, trying to regain its footing, and falls flat on its mechanical face. Fuck yeah, dude. Now let's let's crack that shit open with the screwdriver. Carefully unscrew the panel on the back of the robot. 
Give me them batteries. You pop the batteries out of the annihilator and pocket them. The robot abruptly stops moving without another sound. The annihilator 3000 doesn't seem so threatening without its batteries. Now it's as harmless as any other toy. Toys love it. Look at the toys. I guess that's it. So what do we get? We got batteries from this? Oh, the thing needs batteries. The thing needs batteries. You pop the batteries in the cassette player. Yes, now we can go give Ghost Kid his uh, fucking song. He wasn't being an asshole. <laughs> we were idiots. Okay, now we go this way. Yo, kid. You ready to fucking hear this shit? Let me use it. Use the music player on... Young boy. Up. Oh. The boy smiles, swaying back and forth to the rhythm. <laughs> He's got no rhythm. I don't. I don't mean that because. I mean that because there's no fucking song playing. Hold on, guy. I got you. Boy smiles, swaying back and forth to the rhythm. Goodbye. He vanishes, his presence bounding away from the house. A door directly above you unlocks with a loud thunk. <laughs> okay. Um, now we go up. Oh, let's save it, dude. I'm not gonna lie, that fucking developer and the cuckoo clock, I never would have fucking thought to do that. There's no way I would have gone through every single tab. Ugh. The hallway crosses, this is the one I want. It's the one that I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You push open the door to your parents' room. Also, this guy right here kind of looks like uh, Pete the Cat. I don't know if it's gonna translate to stream well or at all. This guy looks like Pete the Cat. My brother loves Pete the Cat. Let's go in there. You, you creep stealthily into the master bedroom. It's an overwhelmingly creepy twist on your parents' bedroom. Alright, shrunken head, my guy. Ooh, wait, actually. I already see a candle that needs candling. Nope. Never mind. Candle doesn't need... So we've got hallway, rug, bed, rug, trunk, closet, artwork, window, bed, artwork, swords, closet. Okay. Oh. The artwork on the wall is different. The signature says Claude Monet. Oh, ho oh. You know Claude Monet has spent a lot of time in the master bedroom. Swords? Look at the swords. Two cross swords hang from the wall. Now we're talking. Is that the hiccups or what was that burp? You attempt to pull the swords off the wall, but they won't budge. What a shame. That'd make today a lot easier. I'm like eight, aren't I? Wouldn't, wouldn't have done nothing. Rug. Look at the rug. You stare at the rug, hoping for answers. Not our fourth guy. Trunk? It's a big trunk of valuables, you assume. You've never actually seen inside it. Open the trunk. You kneel down and locate the chess combination lock. You'll need to input the correct code. We have the code. Bed. Look, usually it's your parents' bed. Right now, you're not so sure. It's best to assume the normal rules apply. No jumping. How about a nap? You lie down, open to find the comfortable grooves you're accustomed to. They're not there. The bed is seriously uncomfortable. So this is the closet. Look at the closet. You used to hide in your parents' closet as a kid when you got scared. Today, you're more afraid of what might be lurking in there. Open it up. You approach the closet, it slides open on its own. Let's get in there to the void. Which direction is this? Yep. Yeah. I figured. Ooh, another trophy. All right, the window. Look at the window. The large window is the most striking element of the room. Mom loves to open it on humid summer nights. Well, let's open it. You undo the latch and swing the window open. Ugh. Gargoyle. Saliva? Look. A thick, gummy liquid is slowly dripping from the gargoyle's fangs. 
Save. Taste it. You hold your tongue out to catch a drop of the jelly. It tastes decent enough, but things take a disastrous turn. Your tongue feels especially heavy at first. Then you feel your facial muscles locking in place. You try to run, but you can't move anymore. You trip and fall, solid, to the floor. You turn your head just enough to see the truth. You've been turned to stone. And boom, return. Infinity. Boom. Very good. Open at SOB up. Do we have anything to get some slime, maybe? Is this empty? Look. A bottle of liquid soap. Okay. Sponge on slime? Squeeze it? Nope. Okay. How's about then we, I guess, look at the gargoyle. A grotesque twisted stone statue in the shape of a monster. There's slime dripping from its fangs. As you turn away, you swear it moves. Well, it's knock. Oh, nope. Knock, oh, damn it. Knock. You make a fist and give the gargoyle a few hard knocks. That hurt. It's a hard knock life, my guy. What would we do? What? out the jam so then what the fuck is the point it's too much you return to the hallway okay let's go back in there the gargoyle has not moved open a window street street gargoyle knock knock hmm hmm gargoyle with saliva we do with saliva or a gargoyle? Can we put some pull the shrunken head forward and, it, and feel it vibrate slightly in your hand? You grow increasingly dizzy and decide to put it away. Place mat over his face? On saliva, doesn't quite wrap around it. Doesn't quite wrap around it. Um, See, this thing is... this is fucked. We can't do anything in there, it just immediately kills us. Return to the first floor. Return to the first floor. Funny how that works. Um, hmm. We have a candle. Jelly and jam. Um. We 
don't have the hanger anymore, right? That's gone. burn the shrunken head. Is it time to consult the walkthrough? There's nothing in the kids' room. Um, there's nothing in the toy room. There's nothing left in the bathroom. we can go out the fucking front door. You're standing on the porch of a classic haunted house. The boards creak under your feet and the wind whistles through the bare branches of nearby trees. Very spooky. Alright, so what's all out here? House, window, sky, house, tree, house, window, uh, screwdriver on the window. Pick at it a bit, but it doesn't do much good. Can we look at the tree? Climb the tree. Each of the in the branch, one against the trunk. So I heard something loud enough through the headphones, which are fucking actually working for one, so I have both ears. Fuck. Yeah, let's, uh, we're gonna go back to the walkthrough. We're going back to the walkthrough. House, the laundry room, open to the backyard, and a portal. Basement, for your safety in here, you'll be finishing the game from here to complete your first playthrough. Okay, cool. Talk to the old lady, well, we already did that. House stairwell, portrait from the inventory, you got a blank space, we did that. And upstairs, bedroom, house bathroom, use the sink, and the, yep, fog it up. Laundry shoes. Oh. Oh, there's a mirror we didn't get. Oh, I wonder if we could have deflected the robot's laser with the mirror, too. You know? I don't think that really saved us any time. In fact, if anything, I think it added more time to our fucking travels. Oh, what the fuck? Damn it. the bathroom in this joint. Alright, here we go. Drawer open. Oh, this drawer. Take the hand mirror. Take the hand mirror. Could I have deflected the laser with the hand mirror? House guest room. Return the hallway. So I study keys. We did that. We did that. Stairwell. Select cell phone from the inventory and use it on the only remaining ghost. What? Okay, go to the right hallway, master bedroom, oh, master bedroom. Open the closet door on the right to the final portal. Open the window, select container from inventory. Move it on the Where do we get the container? Do I just eat a bunch of... Do I just eat a bunch of jam, maybe? Use the jam on me. Bust out the jam. Sweet and tart. They're good. Oh. Can I just... 
This is very clearly not working. Where do I get the uh, container? I gotta go back up now? I gotta scroll back up to find the word container in this fucking set. Purple stuff. Oh, that's the old lady. Um, container, there's photos, haunted camera. Oh, here we go. Grab haunted camera and container from the upper cabinet of the dark room. Okay. I didn't realize there was a container. So, I gotta go back, grab a container. See, I knew... I knew I had to get the saliva and something. We're closing that. Closing that, we're back on the royalty fee free music tab. What's, where's the container? No. Aha! The haunted camera. Take the container. Very good. Very good. The haunted camera! Boom! pop out over here. No, fuck. What am I doing? What am I doing? It's this side. Alright, saliva. Ladies and gentlemen, you see and seeing is believing. Hold out the empty container, making sure to catch several big bloopy drops of the substance as it runs off the gargoyle's mouth. <coughs> We're gonna uh, just go back to that walkthrough and make sure that there's nothing else. the inventory. It's too much, you return to the hallway. Grit your teeth and stride into the shrinking room. I don't think this will work. I don't think it'll work. I think we're fucked. I don't think it'll fucking work. Well, hold on. I was looking at the walkthrough. This fucking kills us in one move. You wedge the screwdriver into a, the coupling and use leverage to open it up. It doesn't take much to pipe first open and gobs of gross goop gush out. Okay. Oh no, we're fine. Use. I'm closing the walkthrough once again. You hurriedly open the bottle and empty the contents into the green slime. Tension hangs in the air. Oh, oh, oh you like that slime? Oh yeah. The, spot, the spots the gargoyle's saliva touch solidify, hardening into gray snow. The effect spreads until the entire floor is covered in petrified sludge. Very good. Now we can go in here. I was really wondering what we were, how we were going to do it. Uh, open the attic, slide open the hatch, pull down the ladder, climb. With one last push, you throw yourself into the attic. Attic is about as spooky as you'd expect. How I got my shrunken head is the trophy. The attic is about as spooky as you'd expect. Dirt, grime, cobwebs, and big ornate mirror. And a big ornate mirror? Okay, let's. Oh, we're gonna mirror the mirror. I gotcha. Use cobwebs. Cobwebs. Window. Mirror. Cobs with boxes. Pinata. Floorboards. Boxes, old TV, ladder, mirrors, boxes. Okay. Yearbooks. Look. Oh, I didn't even see that. They were in high. They were high school sweet. A uh, stack of mom and dad's old yearbooks. They were high school sweethearts. So these probably had a lot of sentiment, sentimental value. Ugh. But as far as you're concerned, each one is just a book of memories you have no interest in. Mom and dad would probably be sad if they knew you felt that way. Boxes. Search. Sift through the boxes, giving each one a curious 
glance. A cursory glance. Nothing jumps out at you. Cobwebs. Look, the spider that made these must be enormous. You hope he's not still around. You hear muffled laughter. Window look. The window provides a single beacon through the musty darkness of the attic. Cobwebs look. The spider that made these. Green. You feel an icy hand on your shoulder. Mirror look. It's the most expensive mirror you've ever seen. The frame is extremely ornate metal. Iron, maybe. The image has depth to it you'd never expect. Look, buddy, if you're gonna kill me, just do it. You sift through the boxes. Nothing jumps out at you. Your reflection shudders for a moment. So, nothing jumps out at you. No, no, no. Your reflection lifts its arm and points directly at you. Let me see this jump. You make one big leap, slamming your feet back down on the floor. The dust explodes upward into your eyes, nose, and mouth. The reflection reaches its hands together for your neck. Pinata. Where's that fucking pinata? Oh, pinata. Examine it. No thanks. If you're that desperate for candy, there are plenty of other options. Cavity City comes to mind. A spasm racks your body rigid and you topple to the ground. Unable to move, your eye, you roll your eyes, straining to see your assailant. But all you see is the mirror. There's gotta be a trophy for, like, dying every time. Or, not dying ever, which we already fucked that up. Alright, now let's try this. Huh? Use the mirror on the mirror. You spin to face the reflection, holding out the hand mirror you've been carrying. The image shudders, and a crack explodes across the glass. <laughs> Faceless voice screams, the mirror shatters, and everything falls silent. Ooh. That was your evil. Goosebumps? Look, it's a Goosebumps story called Let's Get Invisible. You used to read Goosebumps all the time when you were a kid. Of course, you knew that dummy on TV looked familiar. It was Slappy, the evil ventriloquist dummy. Oh. This game got very meta. Take the goosebumps. You pick up the children's horror novella and notice the author's name, R.L. Stein. If only you had a way to get a hold of him somehow, maybe he'd know what to do. If his goosebumps monsters are real, everyone's in a lot of trouble. You better get to the mall! This is just the goosebumps movie. Use goosebumps on. Pinata, look. The colorful remains of a pinata lie broken in the corner. Boxes search. Sift through the boxes. Nothing. There really is nothing in here, huh? Old TV. Look. It's a really old black and white television. You have no idea why your family kept it. Take. Uh, what are you gonna do? Just shove a bunch of TVs in your backpack? No. You wis wisely decide to leave it here. I have a remote. Use it on old TV. Fast forward means nothing works. Consult the walkthrough. Empty room, screwdriver, attic, hand mirror. Yes, good. We have goosebumps, good. That's it. Okay. Fucking fantastic. down the stairs, I missed something. You hop down the stairs, mind racing for a way to reach the mall, when a solution stumbles clumsily through the door. <laughs> Fucking A. Yeah, bleepity bloopity funkity hoopity. You slam directly into your brother as you leap down the stairs. He barely seems to notice. Hey nut monk, glad you're here. See all this crazy stuff going on? It's like a goosebumps. Bow, 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 I know, right? Are you okay? 
Hmm, not really, he says while looking around, making sure the coast is clear. I realized something about Mom and Dad. Why have they been acting so weird lately? They're monsters. Oh no, of course, it makes perfect sense. When did those creatures replace our parents? Huh? No, no, our parents are the same as they've always been. They've always been. No, what I was trying to, uh, what I was trying to say is even more shocking. I'm not their son at all. I can prove it now, Monk. You'll see. Mom keeps important documents in the trunk at the foot of their bed. Go up and get my birth certificate. Normally, you completely ignore everything you just said. Even by Chad's standards. His latest theory is ridiculous. However, today it might just work to your advantage. I'll make you a deal, since you're my brother. You know, probably. I'll go get your birth certificate. But afterwards, you have to give me a ride to the mall. I know how to stop these monsters, but I can't do it without a lift. Do we have a deal? It sounds like we have a deal then. You'll get your birth certificate so my fingerprints are nowhere to be seen. Uh, and I'll drive you to the mall afterward. Good. Remember, the certificate's upstairs in Mom and Dad's room, in a trunk. The code to unlock it is 1992. The year I was born. You know, the year Mom squeezed me out of her puss. You nervously ascend, uh, you nervously ascend the stairs to the... Yes, we've, we've been here. Oh. Well, I went the wrong way. It probably would have been quicker to go to the portal at this rate. All right. 1992. Okay, you're back in the master bedroom. Chad wants whatever's in that big chest. Clubs. Club thunk. The trunk's lock disengages and its lid pops open slightly. He lifted the rest of the way. Among other things, your brother's birth certificate is in the trunk. That must be what he was after. You carefully roll up the cer birth certificate and head downstairs. Okay. Downstairs, it's right here. Very good. Whoa, how'd you come out of the basement? Brother Chad, he has a wild theory about his upbringing. Do you like goosebumps, Chad? You attempt to force it into the... Uh, Force it into the open book, but then you realize how. Re what? What? Let's look at this first. Look, your brother's birth certificate clearly indicates mom and dad are his parents. You happily present the birth certificate, eager to receive your end of the bargain. Huh? I guess it's wrong, he says sadly, poorly hiding that the air has been knocked out of him. Chad shakes his head. <laughs> so absurd. You clear your throat. <clears throat> so about that ride to the mall? Alright. He's certainly shaping up to be a pleasant companion. If it's that important, let's get going. He leaves the house, shuffling to his car while you follow. You hope that the drive improves his mood. The vibe in here is too much. You're standing outside the haunted version of your house. Brother Chad's there too. He looks confused by the whole ordeal, but you can tell he's trying not to show it. Uh, Alright, let's go. Still need a ride. Carrie didn't need the extra miles, but let's go. Thanks, bro, you say. He forcefully nods towards the car, quite serious. Roll your eyes and add. Thanks, Carrie. Oh, that's not him. That's more like it. So, where's the old girl taking us? School the mall. School the mall. School the mall. How much is left of this game? School, Chad. Let's go to school. Better head, better head back to school. Can't be serious, school. You're a weird kid. You know that? Just drive. 
fewer questions, more driving things. Okay, jeez, he says with a smile. Just give my little brother a hard time. The car ride was all without further teasing. He drops you off at school. The school parking lot is nearly empty as most of the school's gone home. Yet faintly, they're still fucking practicing after all this time. Push. Smell okay, good. Chad, I'll be right back. Alright, we gotta go to the woods. Feel like you're being watched. Let's go see this dude. Hello, hello. A very large creature has appeared in the clearing. It seems to be grinning as it rubs his paws. Yes, yes, you wanna play the game. Play the game. <laughs> Hold out shrunk head with trembling hand. Beast falls to one knee and bows its head, submitting. Resolute. I've realized you have such high level. It backs away nervously. Maybe we play against him there. The hulking brute shuffles backward, facing you until he reaches a safe distance. He then bounds off into the trees. Now we can do this. This move I knew. It's been a long time coming, this one. Shovel slides easily in the dirt. After three scoops, you uncover something. Key card. Take. Check the security badge into your bag. Uh, huge. Uh, okay. Oh, we're real fucking close. I don't need the rest of this. Why are there so... There's like... This is like a third of the page. Oh, it must be for the platinum trophy. Holy fuck, I thought we had so much left. Oh, I thought we had so much left. That's fine, though. That's fine. You jog back towards the school. Yo, Chad. Is there no getting into the... Is there really no getting into that shed up there? Maybe with the uh, screwdriver, right? Let's give that a shot. Screwdriver. Use on padlock. Lance is off the lock with a lot of playing. You start to doubt. You start to doubt the janitor can open it. Open the door himself. Ooh, those. Do we still have the garden scoop? No. Oh, we do. Use the spade on shrubs. Shrubs. Jab the spade. No. We're gonna plant this. Plant this rose. To them all, brother. Car's ready to go, need a ride. Let's -a go. Hop in then, where are we headed? The mall. Town Center Galleria. Step on it. Sounds like fun, not monk. Let's go to the mall today. Ready. You buckle your seatbelt. We're the only ones who can stop Slappy. He just stares at you, utterly confused. All right, the whole Goosebumps thing. Freaking weird, right? Are we gonna run into Jack Black? He guns it out of the lot, and you make all the lights. The lot's deserted as Chad looks for a good spot. The mall parking lot's completely empty when you arrive. Slappy and his monsters must already be inside. You get out of the car, and the door echoing as you shut. Oh, you get out of the car, the door echoing as you shut it. Chad places a hand on your shoulder. Good luck in there, bro. You have to do this on your own, bro. I, uh, I smoke a cigarette. Please don't tell mom. I don't understand all this stuff you said, but these monsters sound pretty nasty. If anyone can stop Slappy, it's you. Chad, you're gonna love this. <laughs> okay. Save yes. Faces look. No, 
don't think there's anything in here, but just in case, empty spaces, worn out faces, mall entrance, okay. Move. You approach the entrance to the Sound Center Galleria. Oh shit, who's this fucking guy? As you stand at the mall's entrance, working up your courage to go inside, you can vaguely see someone on the other side of the glass. Let's look at him. By pressing your face against the glass, you can see into the mall. Someone is standing at the entrance. Bushes. Decorative foliage meant to spruce up the mall exterior. Oh, nope. Oh. Carpet, look. What was meant to be a nice upscale detail is instead a grungy reminder of how many people go to the mall every day. Yeah, you want that out there. Search the trash. In stark contrast to the bushes, it's spotless in here. They must have just changed out the bag. Scanner. Look. It's a security guard reader and probably linked to the door. Yeah, I got that card. Let me save it. Because I want to just go in there and die and get a death, I guess. You press against the glass, straining to hear the figure on the other side. Somebody is talking in a heavy mechanical voice. Yes. <clears throat> hold on, hold on. A heavy mechanical voice, you say? Yes, sir. Nobody is getting in here without my security guard. He can't tell who's on the other end, or what he might be saying. No. The beast for the east for safekeeping. He will probably do something strange with it, but who's going to overpower him? No, sir, my cover is intact. Nobody knows who I really am. Yes, I'll keep things quiet until he arrives. Do not worry, Mr. Flappy. Okay. Very good, very good. Oh, oh my god. Oh, you could fucking use the key card. Card reader. Pass the security card over the reader. It makes a subtle beep and the door slides open. <clears throat> Let's move. The door slides open as you approach and you walk right in. You take two steps into the town center galleria. You scan the area for any signs of... Holy fuck! No, 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 no. The mall is closed for the day. Vacate the premise immediately. This is not a drill. The security guard roughly shoves you out the door. Next time, there will be consequences. Disciplinary consequences. When you head stop spinning, you collect yourself and consider the situation. You'll need to keep a sharp a sharp eye out for that security guard as you sneak through the mall. <clears throat> so what, I just go back in now? Listen. Oh, he's gone. Go, 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 go. This isn't like a time thing where if I spend like 30 seconds, he'll run up on me, is it? The mall is eerily quiet when it's empty. Your footsteps echo for what seems like miles. A Goosebumps book. Jewelry store, toy store, massage kiosk. Okay. Look at the jewelry. Rough cut looks like a jewelry store. I don't really have difficulty with that word. Jewelry. Jewelry. This directory lists all the shops in the mall, as well as the, play the pay phones near the restrooms at the food court. Toy store. Here's Lee's Tours, a staple of malls across America. Um, what was, where were the massage booths? <clears throat> you decide to check out the massage kiosk. Find yourself standing near the demo unit of the very best in massage technology. Okay, pamphlet. These pamphlets discuss the history and benefits of massage at length. Sounds like these machines use a revolutionary new technique. Take it. This might be worth reading later, so you tuck it away. Yeah. 
Jeez. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, bottle. Uh, take the massage oil. And you pocket some massage oil. It was a free sample, right? Yeah. Uh, the facelifter. Look. <clears throat> the sign implies this strange machine is a facelifter, and that demonstrations are free. That's an instant death. That's a death. There's no way you're going to put your face into a machine called the facelifter and turn it on. Camera, look. The security camera is aimed very specifically at the empty space on the floor. <laughs> look at the massage. These are set up in every mall, ready to give customers the most embarrassingly public massage of their lives. So let's grab one. You climb into the massage chair, checking every few seconds to make sure nobody's watching. Ooh. Ah, that's nice. Very good. Signage, look. You consider the pricing and options and offer. You know this isn't the worst deal around. Sign oh, not the door? Let's open it up. Expecting it to be locked, you turn the knob of the employee's only door. It opens. With the gritty eagerness of a child sneaking extra dessert, you slip into the back passages. Oh, fuck. You're surprised at how much of a non-event this is. You're not sure what you were expecting, but this is just a hallway. Locked door. Open. You struggle with the handle, but it's either locked or broken. Fuck! Oh, shit. Who's laughing? Slappy? Slap you laughing? You walk down the hallway to the right. Dusty back hallway, littered with junk. There are four exits. Go forward. You walk straight down the hallway. A dusty back hallway, littered with junk. There are four exits. You completely, you've completely lost your bearings. You give up and retrace yourselves back out to the mall. Okay. Well, that didn't work. All right. So if we get kicked out immediately by going left, we'll know we went the right way. Dusty, there are four exits. Hmm, four? Dusty hallway, there are four exits. Forward again? I've completely lost my bearing. All right, let's go left, forward, left. Left. Forward. Left. Completely lost my bearing. What if we just go forward, forward, forward? Forward. 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 Forward? <laughs> Completely lost my bearing. So that's better than before. Three forwards? Three forwards go right, I say. Forward. Uh, forward. If you're good. Uh, one more forward. And now let's go right. Let's go right. You completely lost your bearings. Okay. Uh, for forward. We're gonna forward. You know. Here's what I'm gonna say, man. Uh. I'm lost in the supermarket. I can no longer shop happily. Forward? Oh, did I already go forward? We'll do one more. I completely left. Fuck it. One, two, three, left. No. Right. Right. 
forward. Completely lost my bearings. Right. Back. Back. Oh, what the fuck? Also, I just want to say, the clash slowed down. I'm listening to a slow and reverbed upload, and then I'm playing that upload at 85% speed. This sounds fucking good, dude. Look. Forward. Left. Forward. Forward. Are we not going anywhere? Right. I've completely lost my bearing. I'm looking at the walkthrough. Sorry, Clash. I'm gonna keep playing the Clash, but I, I just have to make that point that I'm going back to the walkthrough. Haunted mask. Where do I get a haunted mask? Where the fuck am I supposed to get a haunted mask? Um. passageway though I just had to scroll ahead I don't have that haunted mask well, I guess that that's probably just nothing I need forward left right forward right Right. Left. Forward. A large bank of monitors rises from a computer terminal. This must be the command center of mall security. Okay, so here's Slappy very clearly looking at us in this screen. Last sighting. Oh, so he saw us and jumped up, I bet. Right, junk pile up. There's stuff strewn all over the control panel. How does security get anything done in this mess? Coffee. Mug. Look, someone's been drinking coffee recently and they don't look very good at it. Uh, take? There's a crusted stains all over the mug. You don't want to touch it. I definitely could put some in here, right? Right. 
he's a robot. Oh, is it the massage oil? Do I put the massage oil in oil? on mug? Is it just covered in oil now? Oops. Jelly jam. Nope. No, no, no. Hmm. Uh. Monitors examine. You sit down and focus on the screens. Note, look. Last sighting is scribbled on the note. Kiosk, look. This camera is focused on a big empty gap. Phones. A clear view of the public payphones near the food court. Fountain. Fountain. This camera is watching the fountain at the center of the mall. It's full of coins and water. Bookstore. This seems to be the bookstore. A figure is staring directly at you. Is it slappy? Take the note. You decide to keep the candy store memo. I didn't read the candy store memo. Look. Work order. Please complete the removal of the door between Cavity City and Bone Shilling Books. If blocked off and hidden at the moment, it can still be opened from the register in Cavity City. Good to know, good to know. Let's put oil on the keyboard so they can't type. It's just covered in oil now. Can I use tongs on the mug? TV remote. Fast food, okay. Shoplifters, look. Several examples of folks that aren't welcome at the mall on account of criminal activity. So I think you find yourself standing near the demo unit of the very best of massage technology. Eerily quiet. So it's between this, the, not the toy store, the candy store. There was a candy store. Leftovers. With us on and eat it. Take some coins. You pull your hand away as soon as it touches the water. It's boiling hot. There's no way to reach those coins as long as the fountain is full. Not without burning your skin. <gasps> um... Go this way to the food court. You stand at the mouth of a broad food court. A sea of cheap tables and chairs bordered by restaurants of every variety. Okay, so we have tray, take a tray. Never one to let an op opportunity pass by, you help yourself to a plastic. Get out of here, my guy. Get the fuck out of here, my guy. Coins on the ground. Oh, what's this little fucking thing on the ground? Oh. Use the tongs? Not coins? Clank, no. Holy fuck, this guy. Leave me alone. Alright, the seemingly endless rows of stores continue on either side of the mall. One kiosk stands alone. Oh, fuck. Oh, he's on our ass, dude. He's on our ass. You usually rush into Zap's arcade. Zaps Arcade glows all around you, games of every era and genre preserved for eternity in a dingy small shop. Um. Curse of the Mummy's Tomb. Arcade game. Play? Fortunately, without coins, I can't fucking play without coins. Look at the counter. Kids bring their heart. Yep. Yeah. What is this? Ticket box. Look. Place your tickets in the way to claim the prize. Open the door, you turn the knob, but it will move clearly a locked door. Um, we have no coins. I guess we go back? Is, is dude gonna be out here, though? Let me open the... Uh, take the calendar. Uh, PH straps, take... Open the tiny chest. Carefully open the surprise. There's a key inside. Store key. Take. Pop the key out of the chest and into your pocket. Bon 
bonsai tree, take it. Carefully heft the tiny tree in your backpack. You always wanted one of these. T-shirts, take. Fold the shirt into your bag. Chad would probably get a kick out of it. Cards, take. You can never have too many playing cards. Figures, take. You take the action figure, just in case you find time to play later. right there, huh? Phone strap. Look. Store key is a small key. The hat. A hat store. So I guess let's back out of here. Uh, hat store. Oh, he's up there. Holy shit, that sneaky son of a gun. All right. Is he gonna get me in one move? Can I, like, not even grab this? Payphone corner. This seems like a really bad place to be. You're standing at the payphones, just outside the food court restrooms. It's not as bad. Phone book open. Let you let your fingers do the walking to a promising page in the phone book. Eunice, Angsings, Doubtly, Dreadwords, Frighteningly, Goulburg, Jitters, Stein, huh? Right? RL? We are going to look at the walkthrough for this. We're just going to do it. Okay, here we go. Mall security room. <sighs> what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? There's nothing over here. There's nothing for mall. We don't need to be here. Feedy. Oh, cool. Greg would love that. <coughs> Food court beckons. What are we supposed to do? Homeboy's right there. We have to go back to the security room, by the way. No. No. Holy shit, all right. Forward. Left. Right. Forward. Right. Right. Left. Forward. Oh, 
With a pop that hollows your stomach, the world goes black. Someone, or something, must have severed the power line. Darkness stretches in every direction. So I need to be killed by gnomes. Oh! Forward, there's someone, something laughing behind you. A high-pitched, eager little yelp. Let's get killed by the gnomes. You duck into the left, narrowly avoiding a pile of boxes in the path. Small voices, I, wait. Did you already? You turn your head desperately seeking any kind of landmark. You chose poorly. That last turn led directly to a dead end. Alright. Very good. Boom. Use the controls. Examine. Fountain. He already did it, I guess. Yes. Alright. So now, to avoid this, we go forward. Forward. Right. Forward. Oh. Forward. Right. Forward. Forward. Right. Forward. Forward. Very good. <sighs> Film on the left of the screen. Going ape. Lizard man too. Uh oh. Oh, we're playing. Well, that's we're not playing man eater right now. Okay. Very good. Several valiant attempts, you're forced to accept your key doesn't fit this lock. There must be some other way into the hat store. You hold the key until then. Hat store. Oh. Okay. Oh, we, go, we can't go backwards. He's right fucking there. The sharp sting of 50 different perfumes assaults your senses the second you cross the sh threshold into Mayfields. The flowery fog is especially thick today. You soon realize it's not a cloud of cologne, but a shroud of smoke. Oh my fucking Christ. Ed Sheeran, what are you doing here? Out of which steps a hunched figure, his eager grin dripping yell and pen. Uh, okay. Take the lipstick. Take the perfume. The Crombie. Crombie? Crombie's me name, and if you'd be a sport, I present you with one fine quiz of sort. He's more of a riddle, is a riddle it be, and the one way past beyond here is through me. There's the big moment with no more delaying. Open your ears, child, it's your riddle I'm saying. Shove this side in a purse or a drawer. Through bargains followed in its wake. So roll that through your mind. Wit's quick as a dancer. When you solve the puzzle, show me your answer. So roll that through your mind. Wit's quick as a dancer. But I must but I must be a print and issue a warning. If the answer is wrong, you won't be live you won't live to see morning. <laughs> um like a dancer. Oh, me close a tiny dancer. <laughs> Count the headlights on the highway. 
away. In the purse, rattling around. <laughs> rattling around. Oh, action figure? Use the action figure. <laughs> oh. Hmm. No. No, I'm afraid that simply makes no sense. Which means you must not face dire consequences. <laughs> it's no mystery what Crombie has in store for you. It's kind of a mystery. He got really close to me, a young child, and then, I guess... You're standing at the makeup counter. The entrance of Mayfield's apartment store. There are too many cents to name. your fucking riddle. <laughs> Forgot my clue, did you? Well, that's no... Well, that's no cause for flogging. I'll restate the riddle to kickstart your noggin. Shove aside in a purse or a drawer. Who bargains? Though bargains follow in its wake. Shove aside in a purse or drawer. Though bargains follow... Coupons. Answer me riddle, but don't be too hasty. If your answer is wrong, I'll find out if you're tasty. It's coupons, dude. The coupons. <laughs> uh, well, there now, you got it. Something I didn't expect. So congratulations, coupons, correct. Since you played by the rules, I should do the same. I'll leave you alone here just as quick as I came. Alright. Move. You turn left and head in the woman's department. Stop in front of a clothing display in the women's department. Three mannequins arranged in odd poses. I didn't get my fucking laundry out of the... I didn't get my laundry... out of the wash. Where is he? I walked into him. Looks like a fitting end. Ha ha. The guard tosses you into one of the fitting rooms. The door, mirror, and floor breaking your fall. Oh! He wastes no time in chasing after you. Intent on finishing the job. Damn. Alright, uh, retry. It's hard for me to see the shadows of the of dude, you know? Shoes department. Racks upon racks of shoes line the wall. Officer Murphy? Was he behind us? Wrong shoe number two. Wrong shoe number two. Pull the snow. Take the Brannock. I always wanted one of these as a kid. They look so cool. You take the Brannock device and slip it into your bag. Look, these sneakers are the nice kind. They withstand months of heavy use. Take. Take the sneakers as your own. Scoop up the slippers. Collect the red heels. Find nothing. Hmm. Interesting. What does this imply? If the men's shoe. We sift through the men's shoe, shoe section, looking for anything of note. Find nothing. Look at the shoe rag. Uh, he decided to become the shoe monster by putting shoes all over his body. His hands, his elbows, knees, ears, head. So classic. Mom didn't think so, though. So where is... Where's Officer fucking Robot? Fitting rooms. He's gripped with an apprehension as you enter the fitting rooms. All three stalls shut. You peek underneath each door just in case something is lying in wait to attack. You don't see anything suspicious, but that doesn't mean you're safe. Uh, open the door. The door opens easily, revealing the fitting room beyond. Mirror. Look at the mirror. Check a reflection in the mirror. This time it's not trying to kill you. You look, you know, we're tired. Deep bags hang beneath your eyes and your hair's a mess. The weight of the afternoon settles across your shoulders, and you feel much heavier. Oh, Officer Murphy's right there. Keep the receipt. Willie, get me if I open this door. Green dress. Take the green dress. Roxanne. 
You don't have to put on the green dress. Yup. Those days are over. You don't have to stay your body through the night. Roxanne. You don't have to play the game tonight. Walk the streets for money. You don't care if it's wrong or if it's right. Roxanne. Back to Mayfields. This guy just simply will not leave us alone. Uh, you said have another look at the fountain. Take all the coins. Continue them all. Into the arcade. Alright, let's save. I want to play Curse of the Mummy. It takes a minute for you to figure out what you're supposed to do, and as soon as that happens, you die. Okay, alright. You select the dwarf because of his truly epic beard. The stage opens on a battlefield, arrows arcing in the background. We move to the left. Several kobolds bound on screen. They seem like a low level enemy, so you attack. They barely fight back. Each one goes down after a single multi-hit combo. One of them drops a bag of money, which you pick up. You spend a little more time exploring that screen. But a big annoying arrow appears, prodding you to keep moving to the right. You reach the edge of a forest, two more kobolds appear, this time flanked by a goblin archer. Play continues like this for a while, until you eventually run out of energy. You got pretty far. Coins, DDR, you're pretty good at this game. You're able to dodge 35 ghosts before wiping out. Oh. Skip ball. Each coin clatters down a slot. After a moment, five balls drop into the chamber with a very sharp crack. Ski ball, use. Uh, on the lane, dog. You bowl the ski ball down the lane and watch in anticipation. Pretty good. Uh, on lane. Very good. On uh, this lane. Damn. This lane. This fucking ow. Take the tickets. Let's do that again, huh? Use e ball. What do you mean? Cancel this one. That's that's how we did it before. E ball. Nice. So we can just bottom lane this every time. Holy fucking shit. Don't tell me it moves after each one. Nope. Nope. That's big money every fucking time, dude. Big money. Zawiya. Zawiya. Big money. Zawiya. Puppy! Who do you think you are? I am. Alright, let's see here. Hold the ski ball down the lane. God, yes! Let me see it. Let me see it. Oh my god, perfect. Take it. Alright. Counter look. Uh, the machine. Ticket box. Nom, 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 nom. You remember when Munch would eat those? That was so fucking cool. You place your tickets in the ticket box and await your prize. Looks like you can afford toy jewelry. So we have 35 tickets. We have 35 tickets.
Take your hard-earned jewelry and place it amongst your things. I got 35 tickets? Ain't... What the fuck, dude? Is somebody playing to 50,000? It ain't me. Oh, the back's open now, is it? Oh. Clearly a locked door. What if we use the half key? Use the store key on the side door. Hey, alright. Very good. Let's go in. Inside the hat shop. You're in, you're in an upscale hat store. There's a very pleasant leather smell about this place. Hats. Hats. These hats are the store's primary trade. Several varieties are available. Film. Um, take some ties. You grab the least offensive tie you can find. Suspenders. We'll take some suspendies. You snag the suspenders for a rainy day. Art, look. Are they serious with these portraits? Hats, purses. Since they sell wallets, it's only fair they have a selection of purses. Hmm. So is there... Is there nothing in here, really? I'm gonna go back to the walkthrough and check real quick. Hat store. I guess not. Um... Wait, arcade. Store key. Here we go. Oh, what the fuck? I, I wasn't able to grab any of those hats. So many hats for me to fucking grab. Where were they? Sun hat. Take. Okay. Flapper hat. Take. Fedora, take. Beanie, derby. Beanie. Derby, where the fuck is the derby at? Take it. Ah, okay. So, sun hat. These are four hats. No, we got the sun hat. We got five hats. Fedora, sun hat, beanie, flapper, derby. Suspenders, tie, film. That's all we need, okay. Okay. Duck out. Very good. No cup. Fountain, leftovers. Uh, do we then go to... Oh shit. Went to those Whoa fuck me! The security guard leaps out from behind the kiosk, intent on punishment. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. He's intent on punishment. Where are we? You see over there I can't fucking see shit, dude. Back. Let's go forward. Forward in the Mayfields. I don't see him anywhere. Take a mannequin. All right, let's get out of here. Standing at the entrance. Oh, fucking dude is right there. Where can we go? We gotta go in the Mayfields. Out of Mayfield. Still here. Leave Mayfield. He's gone. Okay. One more. Actually, I wonder if we should... I don't think we've got one of every death, but we've gotten pretty close to it. So let's go and do this. Alright. 
take the mannequin. You reach up to take the mannequin and immediately realize something's not right. Its torso, where you grabbed it, swivels around 180 degrees, loosening your grip. Oh my god. You look up to see its hands coming down at the base of your neck, which hurts considerably. The mannequin wraps its spindly limbs around your body and begins to squeeze. And I got the squeeze! And never stops, that you're aware of. Retry. Alright, we got everything we need. Let's get out of here before old Copper comes. He's fucking already there. Alright, back out. Leave Mayfield. He's gone. He's gone. Big save. 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 Into the candy store. The store is bright, colorful, and smells like strawberries. Definitely a candy destination. Take R.L. Stein candy. You find a way to get the cotton candy in your bag. You've already got that flavor. You find a way to get the cotton candy in your bag. You find a way to get the cotton candy in your bag. You find a way to get the cotton candy in your bag. You find a way to get the cotton candy in your bag. Already got that flavor, flavor, flavor of love. Chocolate pretzels. Can't just walk around with loose candy everywhere. You need something to store it in. What oh, bag? Take one of the bags. Candy prepare. Come on, let's get peanut butter cups. Scooping three PB cups into your bag, you can already taste their perfect blend of savory sweetness. <coughs> oh my God. Take, you already have one bag, one thing at a time. Oh. Fruit orbs. Taffy. Take, you gotta reach into the bin, but the candy will be right first. It grabs your face and a nice strip of flavors, a flavor, and pulls you into the tiny plastic bin. You struggle, but it's no use. The creature doesn't bite you, it just keeps sucking until there's nothing left. Huh, my kind of creature. Retry. Oh, we're not gonna get the trophy because the plant guy at the very beginning never killed us. That's gotta be what it is. We were too quick with the blaster. So do we not have a candy? Eight out of seven. You seeing that? Now it's gone forever. Okay. Take the purple, take the yellow, take the red, take the no pink, can't get that pink. Boy bull, I already have it, but not the green. Very good. And then uh, take them, boom, boom, boom. Very delicious. That's all we need. Alright. Where is Homeboy now? Oh, look at him up there. Staring at us. Now we dress up a mannequin. Boop. Boop. Fuge. On the floor. You assemble the mannequin in the big empty space on the floor. And we're gonna put. Boop. We're gonna put the green dress on a mannequin. Slip the outfit onto the mannequin, and after several minutes of fussing, decide it fits. really a sunning outfit. Probably would pop off with a beanie, maybe. Uh, and of course, get the shoes, the big boots, there you go, bam. Place the shoes on a mannequin's feet, bam. Jewelry. On a mannequin. Gently reach around the mannequin and clasp the jewelry. It looks good. Uh, uh, and a green cotton candy. 
place the cotton candy on the mannequin's head to serve as a makeshift wig. Oh. Oh, that's... That's not at all what I thought it'd be. Can I slip, slip the floor up with my, with my dish soap? On the floor. On the floor, dude. On the floor. Hi. Okay. I proceed back to the main drag of the mall. The mall is nearly quiet. So from here. so much fucking shit. We're gonna go into hyperdrive mode. On a one-way ticket to midnight. Want it. Heavy metal. Heavy metal. Sammy Hagar. Hagar. Slow reverb. It's so fucking late. It's so fucking late. I got work in the morning. Oh, is it Dan Felder? Soundtrack. Yeah, it is Sammy Hagar. Well, Google. Want heavy metal? Uh, sorry. Uh, we really gotta find this Sammy Hagar slow reverb. Yo, what the fuck? Who this is Don Felder. Who are you, Don Felder? Sorry about just sitting on this screen, but for fuck's sake. We're diving in. I'm just going to read the walkthrough from this point. So, payphone area. Alright, we got over the payphone. Use our phone to charge underneath the payphone. Odd. Outlet. You plug your phone into the charger. Its battery power will increase as long as you leave it here. Alright, the food court beckons. We gotta go back five times. Hopefully, we get going before old boy catches us. and knock at your brother to get your brother's attention. He's engrossed in a video game. You knock again and he holds his palm up in a stern warning. 
Hold on. Hold on. He stumbles out of the car. Really? I just got comfortable. No, I get it. So you have to head somewhere else. Afraid so. Home. Yeah, thanks for chauffeuring me around all night. There's something I need first. Uh, problem. Uh, what's our next uh, destination? Home. Let's go home. Good idea. At least then I can see if Mom or Dad are home yet. Both climb into the car and Chad turns to you, making sure it's time to go. Off we go. Sorry, we're just driving back. Sorry, we're just driving back and forth. No worries. It's what big brothers do when creepy monsters invade the town. You're standing outside. Can I give the video games to this guy? You aren't going to screw around with your finished game. Oh god, okay. Alright. Enter the foyer. We gotta go put shit down the chute. This isn't, that wasn't the right door either, but for fuck's sake. Oh. Okay, here we go. Let's throw... This fucking book down there. Here we go. Shoot. You hold the book out over the chute before letting go. It bangs against the chute walls on its way down. Very good. Uh, cotton candy. In the chute. As much as you'd like to empty your entire bag into the chute for laughs, it might be better to go check on the last object before trying again. Oh, for fuck's sake. Dig through the laundry and pull out a mask. There's an unsettling energy about it, but you can't say no to a free mask. You take it. Oh, shit. We do have the haunted mask now. Is this done? Use. Look, it's still no... Blue cotton candy. All right, very good. No, oh, holy fuck! No way! I have to go do that every time.
Or are we knocking all the shit that's floating around in here? That doll used to float around. Oh, fuck. Shutting up. Sake. Now we're getting our shit back. Bean bag, puzzle cube, doll, toy plane, and baby monitor. Bean bag, doll, toy monitor, puzzle cube, and toy plane is all that's left. No, 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 no. Uh, we're actually gonna do... Okay, buddy. Okay. Okay, buddy.
the house, go to the neighborhood, go to the storm tunnel. What the fuck? Drop 10 random disposable items, clothes, toy dino, etc. down the hole in the tunnel. There's a hole in this fucking tunnel? There's a hole in this fucking tunnel? Oh my god. Time to go to the mall, big bro. Carrie didn't need the extra miles, but let's it go, Mario. <laughs> That's a great chuck. You like video games? Blah, blah, blah? Yeah, sure. All right. Okay, we'll go. put you on hold. The phone receiver makes a sickening crack against your head. You assume it leaves a nasty bomb. The guard steely boot rushes up to meet you on the guard and focuses on the sun with that on. What the fuck did I do wrong there? Homeboy, you got a knot. Oh 
open. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? I can't connect the call? Fruit caps. It won't fit in the bag. You suppose this bag's meant for candy and candy around. Okay. Um, take candy from the bins, fruit caps, fruit orbs, chocolate pretzels, peanut butter cups, and sugar caps. Um, fruit caps, fruit orbs. Chocolate pretzels, peanut butter cups, the sugar caps, sugar caps, step closer to the cash register. And wait. The scale sinks further into the counter with a click. A seemingly solid wall of the candy store slides open, revealing a doorway. I would just like to point out, it's a nine minute song that we played at 85% speed, and I'm reading a walkthrough. I'm reading a walkthrough. But I don't think we'll need it anymore. Stealing your nerves, you press. oh fuck no. Okay, let me go back. Let me go back, eh? It's all too much and you escape the cavity city. Take me down to the cavity city with a fucking mean old robot ain't near me. Oh, won't you please suck my face? Suck my face into holy... You're not authorized to be here. The security guard grabs you and swings you with a massage chair. Too quickly to react to collect the ground. He performs a little massage of his own, eh? But it's extremely painful. For long, you lost... You lose the ability to feel anything. Where am I? I don't see his shadow over there. You am I just can I just not go over here anymore? Okay, now here we go. Face lifter use. Out of options you sit in the face lifter and lean forward so the mask is pressed against the machine. Crossing your fingers, you hit the on switch and grit your teeth. Worked. You're free of the haunted mask. You spitefully shove it into the very bottom of the bag. Very bottom of the bag. All right, where's homeboy? Not in here, that's for sure. Nice. Holy shit! 
Let's fucking kill this fucking slaps. I'm not looking at the uh, fucking walkthrough for this last one. Maybe I should, though. If I die even one time. Even one time. A number of Goosebumps book lie discarded in a pile on the floor. Bookshelf. It's completely covered in Goosebumps books by R.L. Stein. So dark you can't make out any of the titles, but from here they seem like ordinary Goosebumps. Shadows, look. Bookshelf, look. Shadows, look. Shadows hang from every surface, a perfect hiding place for every nightmare you've ever had. All right, dummy. The figure on the floor looks like a ventriloquist puppet. Is it Slappy? It certainly is. Oh. No, this puppet has different hair and everything. We're Slappy. Look at the dummy. If Slappy's not here, he could be anywhere. This decoy had you completely fooled. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. You're not Stein. What do you think you're doing here? I'm looking for Jack Blake. Old. I've come to put an end to this. This <laughs> misc. I'm afraid you're jumping the gun a little bit. R.L. Stein's the only person who can stop me. And even then. Lie. Well, guess what, Slappy? Stein's on his way here now. Whatever happens, you'll be gone long before he gets here. Maybe you should have called to give him a heads up. Speaking of which, here's a little thing I call a heads up. Oh, Slappy hops down and runs between your legs, gives you that clock clock 3000. You pass out from the most exemplary orgasm of your life. His tiny hands cover your eyes. Shh, sleep tight, my prince. You stumble around in the darkness and feel him pulling hard. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Round two, baby. You trip over some books and fall. It gets hard. Okay. Okay. We're looking at the walkthrough. Okay, here we go. Boom. Forward. Now uh, you go, don't give name, that's not at all, look at the, no, it's not, it's a real sloppy animation on that, I'm gonna say. Alright, Goosebumps books, Slappy jumps out at us. <laughs> oh, no, you're not Stein, what do you think you're doing here? Don't give name, stammer it out, sincere, whatever. The question is, what do you think you're doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm releasing the most dangerous creatures from R.L. Stein's books to lure them into a trap that spells a sight and doom. I'll stop you. Not if I have any. Oh, not if I have anything to say about it. Kid, you need my book to do that, and you don't got it. Otherwise, you wouldn't let me do this. Possible speed, slappy lunges. I need to call R.L. Stein, but the dude won't let me... won't let me do it. I need to call Stein. Alright, let's uh, put the coins in preemptively, eh? Use the coins. Okay, slide a few coins. Alright, and now let's go back. Look at this fucker. Thought he could thought he could sneak up on me. He's long gone now. Uh, open. Goldberg, memorize. Fucking Christ. Okay. Very good. Maybe I need to do each individual element. I don't even think we put the coins in that one. Because we still got him, right? Okay, here we go. You can actually use the phone now. You only need to pay once. Okay, well, I don't believe that. I'm going to memorize this number. Open. 
Schoolberg memorize. Go back. Go forward. Give him a call. Call. I'm gonna have to put you on hold. What the fuck? Why is this guy? Why is this guy? Um. What the fuck? Oh, I need to go. I need to get the red dress specifically? Why? Why do I need the red dress and the sun hat specifically? Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. We gotta turn another Taibo song on? We're doing Christian Woman because I can't imagine us needing more than that. I honestly cannot imagine us having to do that. Is that his dong? Is that him with his cock out over there? What the fuck's going on? Why you got your cock out in the arcade, you creep? Jesus. Alright, Mayfields. Let me go to the back. Look at him peeking over there. Like I won't see his ass. Give me these jumpers. Take them. Or leave them. I don't give a fuck. Roxanne. The true wall. Oh, please don't hurt me. the number you memorize and wait as it rings and rings and rings. Someone picks up. After a long silence, they speak with obvious impatience. Hello, my name's R.L. Stein. go through? Oh. Fuck. I meant to have him play this and now it's become such a long thing and the moment's dead. Thank you, Arlstein. I gotta start naming these things so I'm not fucking flipping the wrong ones on all the time. Uh, yes, this is Nutmonk. I'm looking for R.L. Stein. Another pause. Longer this time. Hello, my name is R.L. S Hello, my name is R.L. Stein. Never heard of him. He's an author, you explain. He wrote those Goosebumps books everyone likes. Everyone likes them? He asks. So they're good. You find them scary? 
The man on the other end, scary, he would have said, he would have said a low monotone. The man on the other end of this line seems to know more about goosebumps than he let on. They're the scariest of you or beware you're in for a scare. You lay it on thick, hoping your hunch about this number was correct. My favorite. Oh, uh, hold on. There's rustling on the other end. Someone here wants, oh, that wasn't R.L. Stein at all. Hello, my name's R.L. Stein. I write the Goosebumps books. This is R.L. Stein, master of horror, says an identical sounding voice. You're not monk, was it? It's definitely been R.L. Stein the entire call. That's right. Sorry, sir, but we don't have a lot of time. Slappy's here and... Slappy? Why didn't you say so? He's serious. How do you get free? Never mind. Where are you? Uh, the town center Galleria? You wonder if he'll need the address. I... Okay, good. Now listen. You hear a car door open and shut on the other end. You must keep Slappy distracted. Do you understand? It's important. The car starts. Do whatever it takes to keep him busy. You can do this, Nutmunk. After a beat, he adds, I'll be there as soon as possible. R.L. Stein hangs up abruptly. The line goes dead. Now we can go talk to Slappy. Now we can go talk to Slappy. Although I guess now would be a good time to save it as well. We have the whole mall to ourselves. All right, Slap. Let's see it. All right. Dummy. It's not him. He's horribly animated. Boo, it's me. Slappy. <laughs> I'm so glad you can make it. What? Who are you? Don't give a name. I'm the kid who's gonna stop you once and for all. Oh, well, it's a pleasure to meet you. What's your plan? How are you gonna stop me? Stammer it out, hammer it home. Stammer it out, hammer it home, stammer it out. Well, uh, I, um, I'm sure I'll think of something. Nah, kid, you won't. You want to know how I know that? Sincere or snark? Sincere. Get him talking. Probably because I clearly don't have a plan. Well, that. But mainly because you're not R.L. Stein. Nobody else stands a snowball's chance in Miami. Why? Oh, yeah? What makes him so special? He created all us monsters, for one with his special typewriter. And now I'm turning them all against him. Distracted, distract him. Distract him. So when you say all, how many monsters is that roughly? Well, let's think. There was Mrs. Foster, the vampire poodle, Officer Murphy, the monster blood. Oh, the plant man. Can't forget him. Wait a minute, you're just trying to distract me. Spin it, deny it. Spin it, deny it. Spin it. It's true, but if I don't, that's the end of me, isn't it? I'll ramble forever as long as it keeps me alive. I'm a dummy, not an idiot. I know exactly what you're trying to do here, so stop lying to me. Just chatting, just stalling. Just stalling. Just stalling. You got me. I've been distracting you this whole time. I knew it! So what's your game, kid? Board games made you look. Board games made you look. Made you look. It's really him. R.L. Stein, right over there. What? Where? Nobody's there. You should worry less about who isn't behind me and more about who's in front of you. Oh, he jumped at me. To illustrate his point, Slappy charges towards you. Fight back or run? Can we fucking just punch him in the face, knock him down? Fight back. You stand your ground, bringing your arms forward, ready for attack. You aren't sure how to fight an evil dummy, but what choice do you have? Just as Slappy reaches striking distance, a voice booms through the store and stops the puppet. Right in his tracks. <laughs> okay. Not so fast. 
What? But how? It. What in the fuck? Is this supposed to be Jack Black? Because that most certainly is not R.L. Stein. He writes the Goosebumps books, guys. I think I would know. Nutmunk filled me in on your little. Nutmunk filled me in on your little plan. It's impressive, but unfortunately, not impressive enough. No, it's too early. Nothing's ready yet. You you gotta give me a redo. You've done more than enough damage for one day, Slappy. It's time to go back in the book. No, you can't do this. You created me. Why do you, why do that why do that just to hide me away like some mistake? I am not a mistake. My books were meant to entertain kids. That's what you monsters are for. The only mistake was letting you out into the world, where you could hurt people. You'll regret this, Papa. Next time I won't be playing a game. I'll be in a movie. Goosebumps the movie. Starring Jake Black is R.L. Stein. Next time, Slappy will be the puppy master. Shut up. And get in my belly. Hey, you're all real Stein. The one and only. Thanks for distracting Slappy. That's what we look like? Ugh. Oh, you were listening? I guess we gotta do more like a Jack Black. How to make a good entrance. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Every story L <laughs> R.L. Stein co types comes to life. So he keeps them locked inside special somethings. But uh, Slappy had gotten loose and released the rest of the monsters as well. Man, this is going quick again. We followed Mr. Stein around town as he trapped each monster inside the book it came from. It took most of the evening, but after he trapped the final ghoul, Lamb, it was time to say goodbye. Stein, thanks again for your help, but I must be going. My daughter and I need to reach Madison by Friday. Daughter? Not Monk? Madison, like in Delaware? Madison! I said nothing. Forget everything you heard. Time to go! Hey, Mom, sorry it's so late. Chad and I were about to head home. Oh, you bet you were. You get back here this minute. This me, Slappy. Oh, we had the craziest day, Ma. You won't believe it. I'm also Slappy. Ma, save it. I don't want excuses. I don't know what on earth you got. Oh, I mean, honestly, not my guy. You speak this kind of thing from Chad, but my goodness, the whole everything's on the floor. You let the fridge open. I can't even talk or go upstairs. I'm so angry. Just wait until your father gets home. We're going to have a serious talk about video game privileges. Well, I... Am I just like a major idiot? Because even with a walkthrough, this stream was over three hours long. I read online this was an hour long. Am I an idiot? Was I thinking too much? Is it an hour long if you memorize the walkthrough and know every fucking input before you even get to the screen? Um, yeah, that's fucking crazy, dude. It's nuts. Uh, and this is not at all. I can't believe R.L. Stein trapped Google Lamb. Maybe this is the last video I upload.
Dude, that was actually crazy timing with the fucking theme. <clears throat> could have, could have used an extra 15, 25 seconds, 30 seconds, 45 seconds, a minute. <sighs> oh, that was the real slappy after all. Uh, this goosebumps the game. I really don't have any thoughts on it. So I'll just let Arl Stein. Now that wasn't too scary, was it? What Happy Halloween. Huh? Dad, what did you think? Ba! I think they liked it. I hope you did too. Have a scary day, everyone.